You go into this wonderful place, it's like a 1970s throwback, um, you get wonderful tasty food and it takes something that you remember from your childhood, just a humble cheese toasty and it just makes it absolutely awesome. It's Aberdeen's own soul food. You know some days when you have that craving for something savoury and it just really hits the spot. It's cheesy awesomeness. Too good to be true. Easily the best cheese sandwich toasty shop in Aberdeen by a Mary Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> and he likes it too. <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel really happy. Hungry, first of all. Happy as well, because I know that it's good value, it's local business, and there's a lot of cheese involved. <laughs> Hungry, anytime I look at the Instagram posts, I'm always starving and craving a melt. Melt makes me feel like I'm gonna be full for the next seven hours once I've shoved a toasty and a brownie in my goal. Naughty. Oh. <laughs> the toasties, the brownies, and Michelle. I think just the story of where, where it came from, obviously with Michelle, uh, with the whole oil and gas industry stuff, and then coming and trying, so, trying just something different, a little leap of faith, you know, opening up your own, your own shop. Yeah, it's just the story for me. The brownies are so good that even my mum is desperately trying to make them as well as Michelle does. Supporting local business, you know, the, you, Mel takes his bread from another local business, you know, it's, it's, it's like the chain of supporting local business, I guess. I love it. Melt's special because if you take just a couple of minutes to speak to the people behind the counter, you know that what is being made is being made with, with real love and real passion for what they're doing. Caramelised onion one. I used to have to choose between the haggis and bacon and the macaroni and bacon, and Michelle went and made the bruiser, which means I don't have to choose anymore. The macaroni and cheese with pulled pork. Caramelised onion and cheese. Bruiser, iron brew, and uh, Nutella and sea salt brownie. I would definitely say the bruiser. I always like the specials just because they're, they're always extra naughty. <laughs> to be honest, if I'm feeling a little bit rough, just a classic bruiser with a can of iron brew, it's guaranteed to put you right. Just the classic toasty and it has to have the soup. If you've never tried a grilled cheese sandwich dipped into a tomato soup, you haven't lived yet. Everyone should come and bear witness to their glory.